Hello everyone, uh, this is a re-uploaded video and the reason for the re-uploading is to take the music out. Got a little feedback of um, wanting to see these kind of videos with a little less music so you can hear the plow noises a little bit more, plow and truck noises a little bit more, so that's what I did with this video. Hey guys, it's coming down. Whole handful, that's for sure. My wife's gonna videotape. We're gonna measure my hand. What do you think, Kim? Here we go. Measuring tape. My Rottweiler Gimli, man, he ate everything when he was a puppy. And the corners of my tables were no exception. From the bottom of the palm to the middle finger, babe. What do we got there? Is that seven and a hay? Seven and That's a half? That's freaking seven and a hay. All right, check the palm. Make sure that people know. All right. I think it was a little deeper than the palm, so I was about eight inches there. It's official. It's official. Got you on the plow. Switching over to sleet now for sure. It's gonna start getting pretty heavy, the snow. We got this house and the one over here that we do at this, uh, in this street here. So right now guys, I'm, we're gonna be definitely going through all these um, houses again. So I'm really just trying to get the bulk out of the way. There's no particular rhyme or reason other than keeping the plow kind of as straight as I can to get as much um, bulk pushed at one time as possible. Um, I do get comments sometimes about, um, you know, why why I don't angle the plow or take chunks out of it as, at a time with the, the blade straight. Simply because when you do have a straight blade, any kind of uh, angling of the plow, you're going to get less to actually stay in front of the plow so the straighter you can keep it while pushing the bulk the uh, bigger of a pile you get so that's really all i'm trying to do right now is just get all this bulk out hit the grass there dang it So I have uh, 40 driveways on my list, guys. Had 38, but I got a couple add-ons for this storm. So, uh, you know, on average, I'd say I get about four to six done in an hour, depending on how close they are to each other. When I gotta do a little bit of traveling to get to these houses, I get probably more close to the, uh, the four range for an hour range. I have two big ones that are, are right beside each other. If you guys are subscribed, you've probably seen it. Um, those two together take me about 50 minutes to an hour. With um, snow like this, it'll probably be an hour, a solid hour for two driveways. But they're very, very big driveways, so. It's just a little bit on the timing. But I'm gonna uh, go shovel this walkway over here. Ah, 
this kind of snow. Once you run over it with your tires or step on it, it's just so compacted down. Benny, catch the grass a little bit there? No, nah, just the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no turf left. No turf. Just dirt.
Hey guys, update time it is 10 o'clock. Plowing for about two hours now. I'd say we got at least seven inches out there, Benny. Do you agree? Yeah, I'd say so. Good seven inches. If you listen closely, it's starting to switch over to a little bit of sleet. So, trying to get through these first passes quickly so that the sleet doesn't make everything too heavy to where it's a real pain in the butt later. So we're going to roll up to this next one and do a quick cleaning. Mm -hmm. 